I'll tell you what. These, like, Wikipedias sometimes are crazy. Sometimes they do know a lot. But, like, sometimes they are so off base that I'm like, what? And why? Hey, GQ. I'm Zendaya, and I am going undercover on the internet. This is actually me. Okay, uh, let's check Twitter. Who is your favorite Harry Potter character in Hogwarts house? People may say this is basic, but I'm gonna go with Harry Potter himself and Gryffindor. Why? Because when I went to the Harry Potter Museum for my birthday, they told me that when they ask people who their favorite character is, people never say Harry. Somehow because he's the lead character and he is like the chosen one, people decide not to choose him because they think they're being cool. But he is the chosen one people, all right? And he's been through a lot and he's a G, so I'm going with Harry. I feel like I'm a Gryffindor because I've always loved lions, so I just feel like that just, it just feels right. And Harry's a Gryffindor, so. <whistles> All right, now let's check out some YouTube comments. Two months ago, how the Emmy got there that fast? <laughs> Fun fact, everyone who participated in the Emmys, there was somebody standing outside of everyone's home, I believe, with a hazmat suit and an Emmy. And if you win, you got to keep the Emmy. And if you did not, they took it. So there was a lovely young woman outside of my house with a hazmat suit. And Darnell, who is my like my brother and my assistant, when he heard the news, he grabbed it and ran in with it. So that's how I got there so fast replied can you believe that there are kids out there who only know zendaya from spider-man and the greatest showman and not from shake it up and her dizzy days i feel so old there was also a, someone today through their car or through my car that saw me that said she was like holding her phone and she was like through her mask you know saying like i used to love shake it up and this is like i have a video on my phone of like me dancing to it i think for her like elementary school something i don't know and it was just so cute because obviously she's grown now and it's just cool to see the fact that people have grown with me and taken this journey with me. So yeah, I appreciate anyone who has seen anything that I do or cares at all. But yeah, I, I love seeing the people that have grown up with me because we're all kind of done this thing together. Okay, next. Uh, Zendaya, hi. What do you remember from Casey Undercover and who are you still friends with from that show? I remember a lot. I mean, it wasn't that long ago. That's the kind of funny thing is it feels like it was a long time ago. It was like a different phase of my career, but it was actually the last thing I did before I went and did Euphoria. So I remember everything. And yes, I am still close with mostly everyone from that show. They really were my family. Kadeem, Hardison is one of the closest people to me. He's like a mentor, a brother, Camille is like my brother for those of you who probably know I hang out with him all the time. He plays video games with me. He's taught me to play video games in my adult life. Veronica, everyone, everyone, I'm very lucky. One question, on a scale of one to 10, how much do you still love cup of noodles? <laughs> Here's the thing, I'm a vegetarian and it always says that it's chicken flavor. <laughs> And I always thought it was like, well, that's just like a flavoring. It's not like real chicken in there. But I saw something that said it was like essentially chicken powder. And so I was like, well, I can't eat this because it has chicken in it. And I felt like a fraud because I've been essentially eating chicken powder. So I cannot eat it anymore. So I've since gotten rid of cup of noodles and top ramen all together, which is, yeah. I felt horrible that I didn't know that. I don't know, I guess I just thought it was like artificial flavoring, but I guess there is real chicken in it. I've never said that out loud. Sucks. <laughs> okay, Cora. How doesn't they address so well all the time? <laughs> I have a secret weapon. His name is Law Roach. He is my stylist since I was literally 14 years old. I've never been with anyone else. He is my fashion soulmate. He's taught me a lot about not just fashion, but self-confidence and I think self-expression through clothing. And I'm not always fashionable, you know, like I got a cool shirt, but like I, I will admit under here are some nice basketball shorts posted. Zendaya, I really don't work out. Me, how? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't enjoy working out. I really wish I did because I feel like it would be good for me. And I tried in quarantine. I did like maybe five days consistently. I was like, you know what? This is gonna be my thing. Like I gotta keep my body active. Like I gotta do this. Uh, 
it didn't last very long. And the way that I got myself to keep going every day to work out was like I would put on different wigs and pretend to be different characters because I just was craving acting, I guess. And I would just like do these funny skits for Darnell because it was just me and him in the house. And every day I'd surprise him with a new character as I walked downstairs ready to go work out. Again, that only lasted about five days. So Seriously, it's actually me. Oh, this is actually to me and Arnold. Do you have any tips on dealing with stress and anxiety? I mean, let's, if you got some ideas, let us just know. I'm kind of trying to navigate that myself. Stress and anxiety is a constant factor in my life due to my work and how tough I am on myself. And so I'm kind of on my own discovery of what are the best ways to kind of manage that in a healthy way trying to do things that bring me joy whether that be the painting or writing sometimes you kind of have to force yourself to do it but it is really really helpful i found just like writing things out and getting out your thoughts on paper and working through it in that way and also just having someone that you can call and just vent to that is just allows you the space hold space for you and you hold space for them I think that's really helpful. But also another thing I've found also just being outside in nature, obviously safely. So I go on hikes that nobody is ever around me. It's just me and like Darnell and my dog and I'm just kind of getting to get some fresh air and being amongst, you know, trees and <laughs> <laughs> Do you really bite your ice cream? If so, that's not right. <laughs> yes, I do. I don't really have the same kind of sensitivity in my teeth that people normally have with cold foods. I know normally for people that would be a horrible sensation, but for me, I don't really feel much, so <laughs> it doesn't bother me. Zendaya, can you please recommend your favorite books by Shakespeare? I really want to try reading one, but I don't really know where to start, and you seem like an expert. Well, I haven't read Shakespeare in a really long time, mostly because I grew up on it and it just was so much a part of, I think, my childhood because my mother worked at the California Shakespeare Theater ever since I was about two years old. So I just lived around it. I didn't even know the kind of the special experience that I really got because it felt so normal to me. It was really cool for me. And for me, I liked the more romantic ones, you know, the As You Like It's, the Midsummer Night's Dreams. Those ones are my favorites. But then I also really like the intense ones as well, whether it be like Richard III or Othello and so on and so forth. It just depends on what the mood you're into. And if you're not used to Shakespeare, it can be confusing. And there are books like No Fear Shakespeare and things like that that can like help you translate the text and make it a little bit easier for you to understand if you get stuck. Oh, so happy that a black artist won this. Well, I appreciate that, Jean. I appreciate it. It was quite a special moment for myself and hopefully for a lot of other people. I feel very honored. Let's see what Instagram wants to know. You feel perfect when you're with Noon, don't you? I'll tell you what, dogs are the best. Noon is absolutely my emotional support dog. I take, I well at least I try to take him everywhere. He usually comes to work with me. He's like very well behaved said dog. And it is nice to just like go on your trailer after working long days and just having a little puppy there that just loves you and wants to see you every time and that just feels good unless my mom is there then he could care less that i'm there let's see what is on wikipedia zendaya was born September 1st 1996 true in oakland california true the child of claire marie stormer and kazembe born to the poem true she has five older half siblings on her father's side her father is african-american with roots in arkansas while her mother has german and scottish ancestry that's all true. That's all good. This must be updated because I'm telling you, the last time I was on there, they were like, yeah, her mom's from like Norway or something. I don't know. And I was just like, what? No, <laughs> this is actually accurate. So well done to whoever, you know, typed this information or found it out. How do you know this? What was a day coming like in high school? Well, <laughs> I didn't go to regular high school. So <laughs> I did high school on a set in a room with the teacher and myself. So my high school experience wasn't necessarily typical. I was working a lot. I was mostly by myself, so I didn't really have any like other students to kind of navigate, you know, my normal high school experience with. So it's a little bit different. Hmm, IMDB. 
was not told what film she was auditioning for when she tested for a role in Spider-Man Homecoming until after she got accepted. So during the audition, she presumed it was just some random high school comedy thing. Kinda sorta. We weren't supposed to know that the script pages that we were reading were for Spider-Man, but I did find out that it was for Spider-Man because I have good agents. But I didn't know what role I was auditioning for. I just thought it was girl in Spider-Man movie. I didn't really know what character or what kind of character they would be. Right before the screen test, they were kind of saying, okay, these are the characters that we're reading for, MJ being one of them. And I was like, oh, that would be so cool. Submit. Girl, I need to know your skincare routine. I think the best thing for me that I've found is just consistency is key, sticking with products and keeping it simple. I have very sensitive skin and I can't do much. So I have to do like fragranceless kind of situations and just keep it really, really simple. Like cleanser, moisturizer, don't do too much because when I start to apply too many layers of things and too many different masks and too many different things, I break out or I get an eczema flare up. So I gotta keep it simple. That's really all, all I got for you. And wear your sunscreen. All right, GQ, that is it. I am signing off.